you forgive your spouse, you have helped yourself build a powerful relation. You learn to love one another. And when you have been forgiven by a spouse, do not abuse it. They are not Ghafoor Rahim. They are not most forgiving, most merciful. They might be able to forgive you once if you are lucky twice. In a lot of cases, it does not extend to a third time. They are human beings. But still, we are taught to forgive as many times as we can. But when we have been forgiven, don't look at it as a weakness. It's not a weakness. Many people think, you know what? Where is she going to go? No way. I'm giving her the life. I'm giving her everything. Wallahi, Allah will catch you. Allah will catch you. People think, I can do what I want. This woman here, I'm married to her. Where is she going to go? She's got five children with me. And I've lived with her for how many years? She can't do anything. She's got no one to go to. Her brothers and sisters are married. Her father and mother have passed away and so on. Now it's okay what I do to her. Be careful. She might forgive you. You don't know that that forgiveness is not a weakness. It's actually a strength. The more she forgives you, the happier a life between her and Allah she will lead. And guess what? The fact that she has forgiven you does not necessarily mean that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with you. It doesn't mean Allah is happy. He's watching. He knows. The record is taken. He can see. So therefore, please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by trying your best not to repeat the sin.